well, there's two types of judos. <laughs> you know, there's, there's the, uh, the strength-based judo that you see at the Olympics, which is, relies on athleticism, strength, aggression, you know, and of course there's technique and all that. But then there's the whole, there's another side of judo where it's all about timing. You know, it's timing and pure technique. And it's a beautiful thing. And uh, yeah, that's what I, I, I experienced with, with that gentleman. He just sweeped me the whole time. And it was, yeah. it, was, uh, it, it was something. It was really impressive. Yeah, same thing happened to me. Or they would like hook your leg. The moment you take it, they sweep it. Um, it's, uh, it's very, yeah, I remember. It's very embarrassing. He took me down like three, four times like that. And uh, he had like, a, like all white hair, but he was just so dominant. But he was always smiling and like, that's the judo goal for me. Mm -hmm. That's where I want to be. And uh, I think, uh, like, also, that's one other thing. He's, Jigoro Kano himself said that if you want to see real judo, go watch the women. Like, that's why I said advanced women can teach you a lot because not only they would tell you things about you, like, okay, I don't, I'm, uh, I'm using too much strength or not, no strength at all, or, um, you know, the reason why it didn't work because I was so stiff with the other guy because he was just so much stronger than me. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes like you don't even feel it, you get very stiff. And a lot of people tell me this, especially in the beginning, like you were way too stiff. I would get a shido in competition. I'm like, what? What the hell happened? It's like <laughs> you were way too stretched out of your hand. But I, like sometimes you don't see yourself doing things. That's that's why I, I'm gonna say this again for the viewers: tape yourself always, or you know, constantly see yourself where you are. It's very important because you might think you have an upright posture, but completely, completely bent over. You might think you have a very bendable arms, but they're actually really stretched out or you can have your butt backwards completely, you know, like the worst stance you can have while you think you have a very normal stance. So it's very important to take yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that. And, and the important the thing is like you, you'll eventually get it, but it might take you a lot longer. Uh, for sure. It, and you could, you could cut the learning curve if you actually film yourself and watch tape. Yeah. And you know, like the funny thing is there was, um, I forgot where I read this, but you ever heard of the 10,000 hour um, uh, rule? No. Where if you spend, uh, I think the, the author of that book is called Malcolm Gladwell. I don't yeah. know if he invented that or he researched it, but there's something where they say that if you spend 10,000 10, hours doing something, that's when you become an expert. Mm. Like that's, and usually 10,000 hours translates to about 10 years of practice. Right. Now, the thing is, and there was another study I read somewhere else where they were saying how if you take two guys and then both of them have 10,000 10, hours of practice. Yeah. Right. And one of them is going to be elite. They, they gave an example. One of them was elite and the other one was just good. They said, how come? They both have 10,000 hours of practice. And then when they dive deeper into that, they realize that one guy did 10,000 hours of, let's say, uh, actual practice. And the other, so half, no, sorry, 5,000 hours of actual practice. And the other 5,000 was reviewing tape and oh. studying. So he was the one who was elite, as opposed to the guy who just did 10,000 hours of practice. So right. when you think about that, watching tape would be the equivalent of, um, you know, like the, do it, like the guy who's elite in the sense that like, if you just go, it's not enough to just show up to your club every day and practice and practice and practice and practice. And, and you think you're getting better and you probably are, but you're not going to get as good as you could have if you actually slow down, tape yourself and take the time to watch it because that's actually a part of your training. Like I realized that now I'm like, well, you know, visualization training, like you don't have to train two, three times a day. You could train one time a day and then spend like an hour or two hours just watching tape and studying yourself and studying other judokas. And when you come back, your practice is even going to be more profound than yeah. if you were just to practice two times a day. So I agree. I agree. Uh, I, like I said, that there was something that I was like, you need to watch yourself from the outside. That's very important. Because when you're in Randori, you're in it. You, don't, you cannot see the whole picture. 
Yeah. Yeah. And that's why, like, um, that's why from now on, like filming is such an important thing and, you know, yeah. you got to bring your phone or your camera and get your, you get a good, buy a very cheap tripod and you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or not even a tripod. Like what, what I did <laughs> was that I would, I would talk to like, uh, let's say I was with my, you know, the group of people there with my teammates and I would ask one of them, Hey, um, uh, can you help me film this fight? And after that, like I'll, I'll film yours afterwards. So they would take my phone and then of course yeah. I, you know, I, they would film my fight. And after that, when they would, uh, when the fight would be over, I would film them or I would ask somebody else, but I'll, I would always get the guy who's resting. Yeah, that's good. You know, and, and, and that's it. And I, I would tell them, Hey, I'll, and I'll film yours too, if you want, you know, and I'll send it to you, you know, so that way, like they could have, cause who doesn't want to have footage of themselves fighting. Right. It's kind of, yeah. A good souvenir, a cool thing to have, you know, and if you want to post it online, post it online, fine. But, um, so that's what I do. I just get somebody who's relaxing to, to film it. 